<risa> ¿Dónde eres? Sinaloa. Sinaloa. Simón. Ay. Uy, qué obvio. Rana Lim, Rana Lim. What's up all my Sirius 7 family? Shoot, it is already lunchtime on my third day down here in the valley and I'm getting dark already as you can see from the sun and my lips are so chapped. Oh my goodness. It's going good though. We got all of our PT cables down and everything like that. But to be honest, your boy's shoulders are sore. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're freaking all red and everything like that. I don't know if you can see that, but my 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 shoulders are sore. I haven't pumped out um, rebar and um, PT cables like that in a long time. So, got my I need to get my shoulders back into rod busting form. So, gonna take some lunch right now. Just got me some Vienna sausages again. You know, like I said, I gotta keep it light. Some couple of waters, bananas, some crackers, you know, stuff like that. But you guys already know what to do. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, but most important, subscribe. And shout out to all my rod busters out there too, all around the world, all in the USA. Comment down below if you are a rod buster, where you're rod busting at, where you're from, and how's work going? You know, let me know, let me know. We got just um, just a little bit of number fours, corner bars, and all that. The slab is good, and they could go ahead and pour concrete. I heard the concrete pours at three in the morning. Whew, sheesh! I'm so happy that I just have to tie the rebar. That's it, and not have to help pour concrete. Damn, because forget that. Whew. Oh yeah, there's lunch. This Vienna Vienna sausage um, barbecue flavor, bomb. It tastes like, hmm, chili cheese dogs. Yes, that's what it tastes like. Here we go. It's bomb. It's good. <clears throat> so good. Don't, don't mind my chapped lips. Oh my goodness. As you can see behind me, almost all of it is done complete. We're just adding in all of our, like, our trim bars around the plumber's pipes. Little J bars that are going in the curb. Not too much stuff. And all of our corner bars, but... It's going good so far dang to be honest it is already hot for me I have not been down in this weather for a while um i think it's about like 70 degrees or so but it's the sun i, mean, I know i'm getting dark i'm getting tan I'm trying to stay just trying to stay hydrated but uh, man it's so hard i think that's why my lips are so chapped because i'm i'm kind of dehydrated right now but i gotta dip out early on these guys i gotta go back actually to my old company's office and pick up my check you know i'm not gonna wait around for that so yeah it looks good i think um they said 3 a.m tomorrow morning is concrete mm. <clears throat> hope you guys are all enjoying um these little work videos i'm doing so far but my three days so far down here in the valley it's been good i'm happy to be back i'm happy All right, just got my new hard hat. These are like these are like football helmets on the inside. Just got done tying some columns right now. Here they are. Oh, here they are. Some big old number tens. Tied them real quick. Popped out two of them. This one and that one. Now let's go to the top to start decking out. Day number four, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button, drop a comment down below. And most important, subscribe. Let's go pump some bars, baby. Go set these columns right now. Where are we coming? Far corner? Far corner it is. 
We have the biggest guy on the crew and the smallest forklift on the job site. And those are column forms right there, people. I used to do that a lot with um, Hard Rock. Setting some columns right now. That's actually pretty fun doing those. So we're actually setting our columns though, the rebars, so those guys can come and start wrapping their columns. We got about four on this side. About eight, eight or so columns that we need to set. And the carpenters could come behind us and start forming it up, but we can't tie it yet because the carpenters have not snapped out their lines yet where the edge of the columns at. So we're just setting them down. We got some good old splices that can still hold it up. No, not no problem. So the rebar won't flip or anything like that. So cutting the rest of this number four off the top of these stirrups right here so we can go ahead and get it done. going on our beams right here some PT cables into the columns all the way down into there it's about like a three foot beam they're getting the bottom mat ready so we can start laying our PT cables but now since we got our column lines up we got to go set the columns so I'm looking for the sledge I don't know where the sledge is at a better view of all of it right here all these PT cables. a little spot in the shade right next to the building and eat these chimichangas man I didn't have enough money um, for the um, chicken quesadillas the chicken quesadillas from the roach coach is bomb I wanted to show you guys that but I love those roach coaches they have good prices the like tacos were only three dollars and look both of these chimichangas were only four so it's gonna be pretty good I'm gonna sit down um, eat this lunch real quick and go back up. We're setting our columns now. The carpenters snapped their lines and all that. So that's what we're doing right now, me and Roberto. I used to work with him when I first, before I went back up north. I was always with him and his brother Lotto at the Mayo Clinic. So I'm back with them and we're setting columns and we're tying them all and we're putting all of our stirrups on there too. I'll show you guys once I get back up on top. End of the day, we're tying all these right here that are in between. This one had three each way they're all different lengths so we got those ones all tied time to go home now i like the american flag flying right there yep time to go home hope you guys like the video that's all week where i've been working at um a lot more videos like this to come um shoot i'm not too sure where i'm gonna be at that's why i like this company because we get to bounce around to different jobs and we don't just really stay at one job so that's why i like it a lot but Go ahead on back home to Winslow now and go see the kids. You guys know what to do. Hit the like button, drop a comment down below. Most important, subscribe. See you guys next week.